Hi friends, I'm Walker and welcome back to All About Nails where we talk about vegan and cruelty free nail polish. Today I am reviewing the winter collection from KL Polish. This is the Winter Rain Collection. This collection launched on December 4th, 2018 and today I'm going to live swatch and review these polishes. So this collection has six polishes that are a variety of finishes and colors. Kathleen's collections are always really diverse, which I really like, and they're also always, so far at least, six pieces long for her regular seasonal releases. And so I'm going to live swatch these polishes and then I'll come back at the end and let you know which ones were my favorite. The first polish that I'm swatching today is this lovely red brick color with a red shimmer. It's almost got like an orange rusty base and then a red shimmer in there. This is Kale Polish Casanova. This one feels super unique in my opinion, both in the Kale Polish line, but also just in general. I don't think I've seen colors quite like this. The base is really interesting, like rust, brick, really pretty. It's an atypical winter shade. Um, this color is not usually the red you find in winter collections, and so I think that's kind of interesting. You know, not just at the holidays, it's not just like a Christmas red, it's a kind of all winter wearable shade, which is really nice. So that first coat was almost opaque. I'm just gonna come in with a second coat and see if I can clear up some of the kind of patchiness that came through, but it looks like it is pretty much opaque. Overall though, a really solid first coat. The second coat is definitely bringing it to opacity. I really like that you're getting this red shimmer. You can really see it on the nail, but it's not super metallic-y. It's just a really nice delicate shimmer. All right, so that is two coats of Casanova. Next up is one of the two creams in this collection. This is Unfortunate Souls, and it's this deep, kind of dusty purple color. Kale Polish collections usually have a lot of creams in them. Um, I think Kathleen has said that she really likes cream formulas, but this collection actually is pretty unique for Kale Polish in that it only has two creams, this one and then a gray one. This first coat has a really nice formula. It's going on nice and smoothly. It's self-leveling really well. There definitely is some patchiness, some streakiness, so I will go in for a second coat. All right, coming in for the second coat of Unfortunate Souls. I really like how deep this one is. It's a really dark purple, but it has a lot of gray in it. It's really pretty. Just because this is the first Kale Polish collection that I'm reviewing on my channel, I do want to talk about the brush here. I really like this brush. It's almost the perfect width for all my fingertips, except for my pinky. It's a little wide for my pinky, but if I'm kind of delicate in my application, I can make it work without needing a ton of cleanup. That second coat brought us all the way to opacity, so that is two coats of Unfortunate Souls. Next up is Mother of Dragons, and Mother of Dragons is Game of Thrones inspired, which is awesome. Um, I actually haven't seen the whole series of Game of Thrones, but I have um, listened to all of the books on audiobook. I used to listen to it on my commute. Anyways, this is Mother of Dragons. It's a really pretty green leaning gold polish. I would say it's like an olive base with lots of gold glitter. All right, so this first coat is going on a little bit thin, which makes sense given that the base needs to be a little bit thin so that all that glitter can show. It is even, so it's going on nice and even. It's not super, you know, patchy, but it is a little bit thin, so it will definitely need a second coat. So that's the first coat of Mother of Dragons. All right, so I'm coming in for the second coat of Mother of Dragons. The second coat does look like it's bringing it up a little bit further to opacity. I have a little bit of patchiness, but I'm pretty much able to smooth it out in careful application of my second coat. Seems like if you have really visible nail line or like longer nails, you might actually need three coats of this one, but two coats is gonna be okay for me. This color is coming out really strongly green leaning, which is great. I wasn't sure how much that green was gonna show with all the shimmer in here. This is not a finish that I usually wear, but this color is really stunning. Up next is Sophie, and Sophie, against my white background, looks basically white, but it's a really soft gray cream. It has white with maybe just a couple drops of gray, and this one, a lot of folks said, oh, it's just like some other polishes, because Kathleen actually does have two other white polishes, maybe even three other white polishes, so we're gonna see how much gray is in this one. 
So going in for this first coat of Sophie, it's definitely coming out a little bit streaky and patchy, which seems pretty predictable given how light the color is. Um, if this is anything like the other cream formulas in the Kale Polish line, I do think it will get opaque on two coats, but we shall see. So this is the only other cream polish in this collection. This collection has just two cream polishes, this one and Unfortunate Souls, which was the purple. All right, coming in for the second coat of Sophie, I am still seeing some patchiness on this second coat, and sometimes it's a little hard to see. These lights are so bright where I'm swatching that you, I see patches that are not really there once you kind of let it dry and get top coat on it but I am still seeing a little bit of patchiness. I'm doing somewhat thin coats so that it dries quickly, but I am still seeing a little bit of patchiness on two coats, so I'm gonna kind of finish this and then I'll look at it away from the lights and see how it looks. All right, so I checked my notes and for my swatch photos, I actually did do three coats of Sophie, so it seems like it was a little bit patchy, not just under these bright lights. Um, so what you're seeing right here is three coats of Sophie. I put another one on away from the camera and I think the problem with this isn't that it's thin necessarily, but my formula didn't self-level as well as you know the other polishes in this collection. And so I did have a little bit of um, just kind of unevenness and patchiness, but a third coat did kind of settle that all out. And so this is three coats of Sophie. Next up is another Game of Thrones polish. This is Winter is Coming, and this is this really interesting snow-like polish. It's a white pearly finish that is not super opaque, and so you can see a ton of micro glitters and shimmers in here in a white base. From everything I've seen, this polish takes three coats to get opaque because it is so delicate and pearly. And so I'm gonna show you building it up to opacity in three coats, but then I'm also gonna insert a swatch photo of one coat of this over Sophie, because I think that's a really interesting way to wear both of these polishes. All right, so that is one coat of Winter is Coming, and you can see it's just a really delicate sparkle on my nails, but I definitely still have really visible nail line, and it's not really anywhere near opaque. All right, so the second coat of Winter is Coming is looking in the camera like it's getting opaque, but I think that's just because of the super intense shine from the bright lights. Um, down here on my nails, I can see a little bit of uh, visible nail line still. I will say this polish is applying really evenly, so there's not, you know, bare spots. It's just that it's a really translucent, kind of shimmery polish, and so it is a really nice formula. It's really even on the nail and really kind of densely shimmery, but it is a little bit translucent, so I will be coming in for a third coat. All right, this third coat is bringing this much closer to opacity. I would say that you still might have a little bit of visible nail line depending on how long your nails are, how white your kind of nail line is, but I'm not gonna do a fourth coat of this polish. I'm gonna say this is opaque enough for me. Um, it is super pearly. It looks just like glittery snow. It's really pretty. This is not a polish that I will wear very often, but this is Winter is Coming in three coats. You're gonna see a swatch photo of this in three coats, and then you're gonna see one coat of Winter is Coming over three coats of Sophie, which is probably how I will wear this polish this winter. The last polish that I'm swatching today from this collection is To The Stars, and I love the namesake of this polish. Kathleen explains in her swatch video that it is inspired by Titanic. This is the color of the stone in Titanic, the heart of the ocean. It's so beautiful, and To The Stars is a line from that movie. You should watch Kathleen's swatch video if you haven't already. She always explains where the names come from, and it's really interesting. So this is gonna be To The Stars, and I am saving this one for for swatching last because when I did my swatch photo, I didn't get staining on my nail bed when I removed it, but I did get a little staining around my cuticles and so I wanted to save this one for last so that if it stains my cuticles, my cuticles weren't blue for the rest of the polishes in this collection. Um, this one is going on pretty uniformly in one coat. I do think I will need a second coat. All right, this second coat of To The Stars is getting totally opaque it is so sparkly, so metallic-y. I really like this one. Metallics are not a finish that I pull for very often, but blue, purple, these like deeper, cooler toned colors are colors that I really actually like to wear a lot as metallics. So this blue is so pretty and so perfect for winter. 
I could see myself wearing this, you know, anytime this winter, but especially to like a holiday party. It's really beautiful. Okay, I had kind of a hard time picking a favorite from this collection, to be honest, because there was such a variety. Of the two that I can see myself pulling the most to actually wear on my nails and get out of the house are Casanova and Sophie. I really like this like a little bit of gray in here. It makes this white so soft and so wearable and so unique, unlike anything else in my collection. I really like this white. And then Casanova is just this stunning brick orange. It is so beautiful and the finish on this makes it so wearable. It's not like super foily, it's just got a little bit of shimmer. This one I loved from the moment I saw it in her promo pictures to the moment I swatched it. I love it. I'm so excited to wear this one. I think like all winter. I also feel like you could wear this polish in the fall. I think it's a polish that will traverse many a month in my collection. But if we're being honest, I also really like these two. I don't know that I'll pull for them as often because they are a bit more metallic and I tend to not pull metallic shades to wear super often. So, you know, I'm trying to be conscious of what I know I usually wear. Um, Mother of Dragons is stunning. It is so fun. It's so green. It's so gold. I really like this one. And same thing with To The Stars. This one is so beautiful. Um, it's so pretty. This blue metallic is just gorgeous and I'm really glad that I own it. I will probably wear it once or twice this winter. I won't pull for it all the time because it is like pretty metallic on the nail. It does have a lot of metallic sheen but it is really pretty and maybe I'll change my mind. I don't know. I might wear this one in a full manicure and change my mind but right now I'm just gonna say I'm glad it's in the collection and I'm happy it's here. All right, so that's my review, and I would love to hear from you which ones are your favorites, which ones are you looking forward to picking up from this collection, have you already picked up some of them or all of them? Let me know down below in the comments. I love to hear from you, and as always, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate you taking a couple minutes out of your day to spend with me to talk about some nail polish. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!